Among COVID-19 variants, the most contagious, KP3, has led infections this summer. A national research team has determined the main pathway of the infection route of this COVID-19 mutant virus causing this resurgence. Cha yoon kyung has more. COVID-19 infections have been increasing worldwide with the appearance of the KP3 variant. Variant mutations of COVID-19 have various names such as KP3 and KP2, among many others. When the COVID-19 virus breaks into human cells, it uses a spike glycoprotein on projections of a cell as a key to breaking into it. However, the KP3 variant does not use the original shape of the spike glycoprotein, but modifies the cellular spike's shape by using one of the human body's own enzymes because it does not have its own enzyme for mutation. The national research team has newly determined that KLK5, an enzyme in the body, plays a main role in modifying the cellular spike. When the COVID-19 virus breaks into human bodies, two parts of a virus cell have to be cut to inoculate with cell membranes in human bodies. Through the research of our team, we were able to find out that KK5 plays an important role for the virus to inoculate with human bodies. If a new substance that can control KLK5 is created, a new type of COVID-19 vaccine can be developed. Paxlovid, the representative COVID-19 vaccine, suppresses the propagation of the virus after it breaks into the cell. But the findings from this research are different from the principle of Paxlovid, as a new substance could stop COVID-19 viruses from entering cells. The research team is working on developing a COVID-19 vaccine based on a therapeutic agent that can suppress the production of KLK5 enzymes. This process might be time-consuming, but the team is looking at whether it could lead to the commercialization of a new vaccine, as the country is currently fully reliant on treatments from overseas. Cha Yoon-kyung, Arirang News.